You've been defeated long enough and mistreated long enough. Queen, it's time to stand up. Queen, it's time to get up. Queen, it's time to rise. Queen, rise up. Good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning. Queens, rise up. You know how we do. This is Queen Rise Up Women Empowerment, what we do around here. Listen, we empower women to know their worth and their value. Queen, listen, so you can be all that God has called you to be, that you will get to your God-given chosen purpose, your destiny, that you will pick up your man, your mantle, your mandate that is on your life, and let, you know what, and do. You hear me, what God has already ordained for you to do before the foundations of the earth. And listen to me, your empowerment is through the Holy Spirit, real talk. Can I tell you real talk? Oh, that's real talk. Not just to motivate you, to inspire you. No, 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 to empower you because you teach her how to fish. She'll never go hungry again. Do you hear me? So I need you to get up this morning, shake the dust off. Listen to me, put, when you put your feet on the ground, make the devil mad that you are up this morning and make sure you have your foot on the juggler of his neck. Make the enemy of your life the footstool to destiny, the footstool to your purpose. Do you hear me? I need you to get up. Listen to me. Today's a new day. It's a new opportunity. It's a fresh start. Listen, it is up to you. What are you going to do? And this is real talk. We sometimes be waiting on God to do what he's going to do. No, he's waiting on you to pursue. He's waiting on for you to get up. He's waiting on you to shake the dust. He's waiting on you. Come on, get into your right positions. And this is real talk. But if you're joining me today for the first time, my name is Chantel C. Ross, and we meet here Monday, Wednesday, and Friday at 9.15 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, and we are live. What you see is what you get, and this is real talk. My key is this. Can I tell you really honestly? Because one thing I hate, can I tell you what I hate? I, I, Y'all be mad with me if you want to, but I hate religion. Our religion, it just, it don't, religion just don't work. Religion is just always, you know what? Religion be capping, be locked. You know, don't start, no, it won't be enough. But I love relationship with Christ. I love the relationship. I love him taking, we take the, the word of God principally and work it through our everyday life. Our financial, work it through his, work it, work the, work the biblical principles through your finances, work the biblical principles through your family, work the bi biblical principles, you know, when you're dealing with people, uh, you know, on the inside, on the outside. But real talk, it's really but religion. Religion is a, you know what, it have you, it'll have you hog tied at the end of the day. I mean, forever learning and never ever coming to the truth, having a whole lot of information, but never stepping into the power of the authority that's been given to you. And that is real talk. Uh, you know what, don't start no one being now, because today's question is, what are you going to do? You know what, what are you going to do? What are you going to do? Are you going to pursue? Are you going to step to the plate? Or are you going to run from the enemy? Are you going to go through your processes? Or are you going to back up? I'm. Mean, this is real talk. Good morning, queens. I need you to get up this morning. Before we, let's let's declare over your life who God says you are. And when you're making your declaration, your decrees, and we are tapping to what you're going to do in a few minutes. Because, Queen, let me tell you something. This is, this, this, this walk, this journey, oh, my, listen, it ain't nothing. Can I real talk? It wasn't, it's not what they made it out to be. Honey, it's going to take something. You need, listen to me, you're going to have to be able to, you got to be able to, you got to rise up from the inside out. Good morning, queens, to rise up from the inside out, not just from the outside in. But I want you to declare over your life, I want you to declare over your life and decree over your life what God says concerning you. You are the head and not the tail. Declare and decree today over your life that you are above and not beneath, that you are fearfully and wonderfully made. Come on, that you are confident, that you are bold, that you are beautiful. Come on, that you are the apple of God's eye. Decree and declare over your life that today my mind is like Christ. Christ. Listen to me, decree, decree, declare over your life today that, listen to me, I walk in the power of wealth. I need you to decree and declare today, listen to me, come on, the, the, my steps are ordered. Come on, because he said the steps of the righteous are ordered. I want you to decree and declare over your life today that you walk in the full power and authority, come on, of God. Come on, that you are able to tread upon serpents and scorpions. Come on, I need you to get up this morning, listen to me, to real talk. Queens, let me tell you something. Mm -mm. Some of you, even right now, I believe in my heart, some of you, some of you have opportunities that God is giving you. And so instead of taking the opportunity that God has given you, let me tell you something. There was things that God has purposed you to do, called you to do, chosen you to do, set you apart to do. Are you doing them? Have you done them? Because what we'll do, we'll come, we'll go to 
on, in other places and do what he said do. But no, are you taking the lead to what he's telling you to do? Is it to, to pursue, to take your position? Because what we'll do, we'll have all this power, all this might, all this information. And this, so he really wants you to lead with it. And this is real talk. Have you taken your right posture? Don't start. No, what are you going to do? Let me have a sip this morning. Wait a minute. Mm. What are you going to do with what he's given you? Do you hear me, queens? Let's get back to our declarations and decrees. Don't talk about, girl, you all over the place. Yes, because I am excited about it. First of all, you're going to, listen, you're going you're gonna to step on, you're going you're gonna to make the enemy your footstool. He even said, I'm going to make the enemy your footstool. So when the things that happen in your life and you start stepping up on them, you start making your biblical declaration and decrees on what God says concerning you. And this is real talking. When you make your declarations and your decrees, you have to understand his word does not return unto him void. So good morning, Cynthia. So if you're stepping this morning, because what you, it's what you going to do, what you going to do this morning, because life and death. It's in the power of your tongue. What you going to do this morning? How are you going to open your mouth? Are you going to decree? Are you going to declare? Are you going to make your steps? Come on. Mm, come on. Mm. Woo, come on. I need you to get up this morning. Come on. I need you to shake the dust off. You hear me? I need you to come on. I need you to come on. You got to step this morning. De decree and declare over your life. Come on. I am sitting in heavenly places. Decree and declare over your life that listen to me. Listen to me. I am. I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Come on. I need you to get up this morning. Because the thing is, what are you going to do? A lot of times we are waiting for God to do a thing. He said, no, I'm waiting. What you going to do? Now, the enemy has already done what he's going to do. But what you going to do with what I've given you? What are you going to do Listen, when, when the enemy comes up against you? What you going to do? You're going to stay, stay in the cut? Are you going to get up? Are you going to recognize that, listen, listen, what's happening in your life? Listen. Change is needed, but what are you going to do? For, I'm going to do lock and load in 1 Samuel 30. 1 Samuel 30, the, you read the whole chapter is when the enemy, Zitled, came and <clears throat> took David's uh, wives and kids and burnt down everything that they had. And, you know, the enemy comes into our life and he'll bum rush us. And we'll sometimes we'll stay in the cut of the bum rush or the, the, the action that he has took against you and your family, your finances in your life. When he comes in like a, listen. When the enemy comes in and take, you don't just sit there and watch. He said, listen, 1 Samuel 30 and 8. I'm just going to, I'm just paraphrasing this morning. Y'all got to roll with me this morning. I'm, I'm excited. I don't know about y'all, but I'd be excited about my life. I told my mother last night before I went to bed, I said, girl, I love my life. I love everything. Some things you will, you will change, some things you won't change, but I'm going to tell you, I love my life. I love the good, I love the bad, and the ugly, because God says he'll use all those things in your life, listen to me, for good, for those who love him, that's called according to his purpose. When I say I love my life, I don't, you know what, it's not perfect, but I'm excited about it, because where you are right now, I'm standing for, oh my God, Queen, let, don't start none. First Samuel, if I even go back, I'm I'm gonna pull, I'm gonna pull from First Samuel 30 and 8. But then I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go around. Come on, listen. Because David, let me do this real quick. <clears throat> I want to say this first. Make sure <clears throat> you you embrace your life, your good, your bad, and your ugly. Do you hear me? Let God use it to get you to destiny, to get you to purpose, so you are able to to walk that thing out. That you are able to to to, to you use where you are to get where you are going. And this is real talk: the good, the bad, and the ugly. So get excited about your life, even your your difficult places, your hard places, the places that you think were that were intended to take you out. Listen, when God said he gonna, he's going to use those things, come on, to get you to destiny, to launch you into deeper into deeper waters. Do you hear me? To get you to different levels and ranks and dimensions. So you can't lay in the cut when life, come on, when life kicks you. You got to learn, you know, they roll the ball at you, kick back. When they swing, when they throw the ball, hit, swing back. Real talk. Do you hear me? Let me lock and load this morning. We're going to do uh, 1 Samuel 30 and 8. He said, so David and Quiet of the Lord saying, shall I pursue this troop? <clears throat> shall I overtake them? <clears throat> and he answered him, pursue and you shall over, you shall overtake them all without fail. You will recover all. So what had happened in Samuel, Samuel 30 was an eight a chapter, uh, chapter 30 was zit lag. They, 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 they bum rush <laughs> David and, his, and, his, and the families that were there. They took let me just lock them on. Let me get in here. <clears throat> they took 
They took from David. They took from David and the families, the families that were there in Ziklag, and burned down some things, stole the husbands, stole wives, stole the children, and they did this while David and the and the men were out to war. So let me tell you something. But now they had to come back and recover what the enemy had took. The, the opportunities of the doors that are open. And this is real talk. Are you going to stay there in the cut? Are you really going to get up? Listen to me. Matter of fact, I love how David did it. He asked God, God, is it time yet? Maybe you need to ask God, is it time yet? Because I remember getting ready to recover what God rightfully, what rightfully belonged to me. But I had to sit for a little while. I had to be quiet for a little while. But why I was quiet? I was studying while I was quiet. God was giving wisdom. While I was quiet, he'll give you strategy. Listen, while you're quiet, not saying nothing, you watching the enemy. Come on, but at the same time, God has said, no, it is not time yet. It is not time to pursue because there are some things that I need to allow to happen in order, listen to me, a real talk, so I can show you me, so I can reveal you who I am, so you can walk in my wisdom, so I can show you how to walk in different levels of, 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 levels of, uh, of authority, and this is real talk because there is levels of authority queen do you know that don't you know in the military there was what g5s and there was units and there was levels even in the physical military listen to me queens don't start none there was rams there was dimensions there was levels in the kingdom of god and this is real talk but it's up to you it's up to you to use what he's giving you. So my question this morning, real quick, what are you going to do? And before you do it, get some permission. Lord, is it time to pursue? Is it time to go after? Is it time to bum rush? Is it time to stand up? When, when, you'll be, some, and when you go, listen, and when you go in the time that God purposed, he said, not only you're going to recover all and you will not fail at the recovery. I don't know about you, but I want it all. But I want it at the right time in the right season because sometimes we can put our hands before God. We can go before the, we can put the car before the horse. Don't put the car before the horse, but what are you going to do in the midst of, come on, getting to destiny, getting to purpose, fulfilling your assignment? Because sometimes God is telling you to deal with some things in your life. Come on, listen to me, real talk, but you want to go get this and do that. When he said, no, listen to me. Mm -hmm. So ask for, you need permission. Somebody needs permission to pursue. Don't start. No, it won't be none. Listen. So let me let me go. I want to go back up a little bit in, 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 in 1 Kings 30. And why, and, and why, and why are you there in, 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 in Samuel? What is God saying to you relationally? What is the, 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 the principles? One of the queens said, I'm in 1 Samuel. You, that's where you are. You are in Samuel. Cynthia, Saul moved. Come on, come on, Queen. He moved before. Don't start none. Won't be none. Listen, he moved before God, and he did. Um, but he's but David, when he had to go destroy the Amalekites, when he had to go destroy the Amalekites, they had attacked. Listen, they, the Amalekites had attacked Ziglag. Listen, I need you to get it. It's a Saul, Saul moved before God and he lost his kingship. Real talk, queen. Don't let nobody move you out of your place or take you out of your position at the appointed time. Real talk. Because what God has for you, Cynthia, it is for you. Do you hear me? And I have, Cynthia, in this whole process, even queen rise up where I am right now, I never, ever, ever rush my process. Do you hear me? Took my time. Didn't worry about the he's, the, 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 the nays, who was in, who was out. I know, no, 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 no. I was not concerned about sitting at the tables. When, you know what? I just want to make sure I'm in my right seat. And that was real talk. I never concerned myself with numbers. I never concerned myself with followers because God said there's a remnant that I was supposed to reach. Real talk. So I never went, you know, never be in a hurry. Oh, no, 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 no. I ain't into it. I ain't, you Listen, I'll sit in the back of uh, back of the room, Queen. Do you hear me? Knowing who I am, never rush the time. Listen to me. Matter of fact, David didn't rush to go back and get what it is that God wanted him to recover. He went to pursue. Ask God first. Listen, do I pursue? Because what happened is David. When they arrived in Ziglag, the, the, the Amalekites had raided, come on, had raided and attacked Ziglag and burned it down. Listen to me, the Amalekites did, the enemy did. He said, and then they took the, the, the Ziglag, or the Amalekites took 
um, the women captive and the, the boys, the girls, they took them captives. Listen, but, listen, but they didn't kill anyone, but they had carried them away and took them captive. Didn't kill them, but carried them away and took them captive. And then when David and, and the men came home and, and saw that their city was burned down and their wives and sons and their daughters were, had been taken captive, David said, look at the troops and look, 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 look. And I'm sure they was in a state of shock, but they needed permission. He actually went, David went to God and said, God, I need to inquire of you. Should I pursue the Amalekites? And he waited for a response. Come on, what you going to do? Come on, First Kings, First Kings chapter 30, Queen, real talk. Come on, what you going to do? Shall I pursue? Listen. But David waited for a response. Should I go? Is it time? Woo! Yes, ma'am. Real talk. Listen. Hmm. And God replied, pursue them. And you shall surely overtake them and rescue the captives. I always ask this question. Where in your life has the enemy came to burn down, to hold you and take you captive? Whether it's generational, whether it's mental, whether it's emotional. And this is real talk. How long how long are you going to stay there? What are you going to do? Ask God, is it time to pursue your deliverance? Your place of lack? Your place of insecurity? Come on. When we do, look, 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 look. Come on, listen to me. He said, no, listen to me real, listen, real, listen. I be, you know what? He says, he says, when you he says, when you be still and know and know that I am God. And let me tell you, and, and Cynthia, I'm finding out in the being still. Honey, I live, I'm gonna say this. I I'm not literally lived under a tent, but I've stayed in a tent in my backyard for over two years. I would go from my house and to my tent, in my house, to my tent, and I in my tent. And under that tent, for all of that time, you talking about a stillness. It was in the word of God. It was in the renewing of the mind. It was, listen to me, God was working battles that I didn't even, I, that I, did, I didn't have to put my hands to. But it was, did it hurt? Yes, it did. Because you know what? I, sometimes you want to open your mouth, but it wasn't time yet. It wasn't time to execute. That's it, queen. It wasn't time to execute. There was moments where you do have to be still. Let me tell you something real talk and know that I am God. But while you're still, you're still, come on, and staying in your prayer, staying in meditation, real talk. You got to stay in the place. You got to stay in the safe place. You got to stay in the refuge of God. And this is real talk, not leaning to your own understanding, not taking things into to your own hands, waiting for the right time in the right season. Come on, listen, because what he does is he's building you up even in the midst of a storm from the inside out, not from the outside in. He's training you and teaching you, come on, how to how to how to listen in the spiritual realm, how to hear the, the on the different frequencies. Why he why you being still? Let me tell you something. Man, he's preparing a lot of times he be preparing, preparing you for you to recover and to take and take all that the enemy has taken from you because when it was time to go after being still queen, let me tell you something, and knowing that he is God, because when you find out that he's God, he'll start talking to you from the inside. He'll start encouraging you, empowering you, come on, showing you the, the authority and dominion that you have. And then, baby, when it's really time to execute, honey, I came out the bag like, you know what? You know what? Locked and loaded. Did you hear me? Everything that he was putting in, he started to reveal himself and manifest himself. And let me tell you, so when it was time to pursue and recover, Oh, but baby, come on, everything. You know what? Don't start now. Uh, that 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 the things that you would you thought you were running from, but God really was making you so that you'll be able to sustain. Man, don't start now. Turn this house upside down, painted it. Come on, re rug it. Come on, revamp it. Don't start now. Everything that was brown, I turned to white. I was, you know what? Don't start. He 
Whoo, honey, don't stop. No, it won't be none. And some of the things that the enemy thought he had had took away, God had. Come on, come on, listen to me. Don't, Queen, don't stop. No, it won't be none. The things that the enemy thought he was getting ready to snatch. Come on, pull the rug up. Come on, overtake me. Uh-uh. God said no. And can you imagine the moments in your life where where you where you where you you the enemy trying to oh he's overtaking things and trying to taking things captive in your life and you gotta sit back and be still and you can't pursue yet. You gotta wait. Come on, listen to me. But it's how you wait. Come on, what you do when you wait and how you wait is your mind being renewed in the wait. Queen, real talk. Listen, is it time to pursue? Mm, wait for the response. Real talk, don't you? Come on, queen, don't start none, won't be none. Let me tell you something, that's real talk. And so sometimes, you know what? And sometimes you feel like you ain't, you know, low. I can't say nothing. No, um, stay on, stay on your knees. No, stay in prayer. No, this one right here belongs to me. Whoa, not yet. No, not yet. I'll tell you when ready, when it's time to pursue. I'll let you know when to come out to tent. I'll let you know. Come on. And so while I was in the tent, I was getting my finances together. I'm going to help somebody today. Mm-hmm. Strategy. He's a strategist, queen. God is a strategist. Do you hear me? He know he, the, the heavens and the earth. Don't sound nothing, Roxanne. The, he, the heavens and the earth has already, already put a pattern in design. Come on, for the water and the skies. He's a strategist. Do you hear me? And this is real talk. Come on, listen. I need you to get up. He's a strategist. So while, while, while being quiet and sitting in the tent, let me tell you something. He would come on, showing you how to get the finances together. Come on, listen to me. How to, how to, how to, how to get your credit right. He was he was setting up so many different things. I said, okay, God, I need the transportation. Okay, I need transportation. So he said, I'm going to show you how to get the transportation. I said, Lord, you sure they're going to give it to me? No, they're going to give it to you. They're going to give it to me. I said, Lord, and when they give it to me, let them give it to me without, 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 um, uh, without, not without it being a burden. No, I don't want nothing to be a burden. So he'll strategize and he'll be setting you up for the for the for the future, for what's to come. He doesn't prepare you for where you are, but he prepares you for where you're going. And so I'm going with you and being still. I'm just tapping in there for a moment about being still. And so while you're being still, what are you doing in your stillness? You're not crying and complaining and all them days. No, no, renewing the mind and you know, being transformed by the renewing of your mind, getting stronger in your spiritual realm, watching God, listen to me, watching, getting ready, you know, watching God. God do the work from the inside within you. Listen to me, real talk. And then let me go back. I want to go here with David because David looked for, asked for permission before he went to go to take back what the enemy had sold his family. Come on, no, 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 no more burdens, Queen. Because you know what? If we put the cart before the horse, we'll be carrying we'll be carrying some weight that wasn't intended for us. You hit me. If you put that cart before the horse. Have so. Lord bless me. May He bless you, and don't add no sorrow. Bless me and don't add no sorrow. I even told God when I had to go out and and and, and get uh, come on, come on, come on, and and and, and get a, a, a new vehicle. It wasn't to to, 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 to to be fancy. It was because I knew what I had didn't belong to me. I'm going to help you today. Let me have a sip. Can I get over here? Strategy. You got to get your own. The title wasn't even my name. Drove it, drove it for years. Still didn't... Even though I drove it for years, it didn't belong to me. Don't start. None won't be none. Let me get over here. Come, let, can I get back over here? So why you wait? And can I tell you this? I could have took the house. I could have took the house I'm in and sold it and probably got me a little something, something. Nah, we're going to stay right on base. I am not into all those things. We're going to stay on base. No, we ain't gonna, we ain't, we ain't going to sell it. We're going to stay right here. We're going to stay right here. In the, we're going to stay right here. Because when the time comes, I uh, no. No, we're going to stay We're gonna stay on the base. Stay. You know what? Don't put the cart before the horse. Real talk. No, I'll stay right. Because I am not into all, I, I am not into all those things. I am not to, ex, I am, I, Queen Sante, I am not into external 
things, it's internal for me. What's going on on the inside? What's really happening? Real talk. What you say? Say don't stay in the praise of worship. Come, you gotta stay in your positions, queen. Release what you don't. Own. You know what? Uh, Cynthia, don't start no more being none this morning. Release what you don't own. Real talk. And I did, queen. Had to release it. You hear me? Sip. Had to release it. But the thing about it was the release. Because waiting on God, giving strategy, he had already gave me the financial plan. I'm going to help you today on how to get it and it add no sorrow. Did you hear me? So while you're waiting and getting for God's reply to pursue, pursue all that the enemy has taken from you. Make sure you get your reply. Get your response. Lord, do I pursue? There was moments where God will have you just watch your enemy. Woo! Listen, don't stop. None won't be none. And you can't say a physical word, but you can pray all day. Listen, so you can have a car. You say, you know what, don't start no queen, but don't put the cart before the horse will talk. <gasps> the waiting process is amazing. Queen, the process, it is amazing. Sometimes the process is hard, it's difficult, it hurts. It feels sometimes like you are a, um, like you are, you, you are, you are, you, 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 you are a mat just being walked on and walked over. But if you go back to 1 Samuel and 30, While David and the boys was handling business, the enemy came and took their families, their children, and burnt down the place they lived. The Amalekites, the enemy. David, they bowed their head, they cried, they mourned, but they wanted to go get their families back. their children, their sons, their wives, and their daughters that were taken captive. But David said, Lord, shall I pursue? Shall I? Is it time? Listen. And the Lord replied, now, I don't know where you are in your life right now with the Amalekites came down and took, stole, took captive. Come on, what is using, come on, so maybe the enemy is using things against you in your life. In other words, don't back down. Woo, listen. You said not driving the dump truck, people, places, things real. Listen to me. Mm. Wait a minute, Quinn. What you saying, Jackie? No, we're not back. Don't back down. You say, I will move when God send me supernatural blessings and the places at the top of the mountain to write the book about the end that God has provided. Just asking, do I pursue? Is it time yet? Because a lot of times, you know, people can see in you what God is doing. But it's not until you, until you, because to, to, God has, maybe God has already spoken to you and so he'll, he'll send someone to confirm what he has spoken but is it, is, is it, Lord, is it time? Is it time? Is it time to pursue? God replied back to David. And he said, pursue. He said, and you will surely overtake them. These raiders. Will I oh you and you will overtake them? So David, if you go down a little further, David took six hundred men to the brook. He got his game plan together, a strategy together. He didn't he still didn't just jump out. He got a strategy together. He got his boys together. Real talk. 
or how they were going to pursue and take back and recover all. Do you even have a plan? Do you have a strategy? Do you have a strategy? Are you just swing fighting? Are you just swing fighting? And sometimes, Queen, we, you know, we're even with being still, being still and no, it gotta be, you even have to be careful with that. You mess around and you, 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 may, may your be still be empowerment. May your be still. Come on, it's, 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 it's working, still being, doing what is required on your behalf, righteously. Still being obedient and being still being ob in obedience. Ooh, she may have a sip. So being careful and making sure we, we got that be still. Amen. Come on. Come on. Come on. What is the strategy? Don't start nothing, queen. What is the strategy? And then in God, I'm telling you, he'll give you one. I promise you. I promise you. Seek him first. Real talk. I promise you. Seek him first. Lord, what? Because let me tell you, my first strategy, Cynthia, in 2014, oh, I had a strategy, but it was my plan, not God's plan. Honey, I got up out of here. You hit me. It was. But before I left, can I tell you something? I heard God say this. He said, you going to win this right from this house. But because when I was what was happening in this house was hideous. I don't want to stay here. Man, I started strategizing. Do you hear me? I have my own strategy. Wait, girl, honey, listen. You won't keep me in the headlock, not like this, honey. I strategized so good when I got to my destination. When I got to my destination, all my stuff was already in the apartment that I was going to live in. Don't start. No, won't be none. I got me an ABF truck. I had that joker packed up. Let's, ro let's rock and roll. Let's go. Listen, pack this house up. Listen to me. It was gone before I got there. Don't start none. Got in that RAV4. Don't start none. And Queen, when I got there, my family was like, "We, you like Jonah. We don't even know you're supposed to be here. Let me tell you something, because you can have a strategy and you can plan your own plan, but you want to know you better make sure, cause God, and then because God sent me right back to the same house. He said you was going to get the, you know what, don't start none. The same place you was going to get the victory from from the beginning was the same place he sent me back to. And guess what? Victory is mine. Don't start none. Listen to me. It's going to be your plan or God's plan. Real talk queen do you hear me listen send me back let me have a sip and let me tell you something it took a lot of guts for my sister to say she was like um sis i don't think he's supposed to be here i was like sis I, i'm i'm jonah 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 all day jonah in the bell of the in the in the, in the well of the belly you hear me Man, I was causing so much turmoil um, in places I wasn't supposed to be. But you want God's strategy. So you can win your victory. Woo! Listen. Right where you are. You hear me real talk. Mmm. Listen. Man, a plan, he's, a plan is a powerful weapon, queen. Real talk. So I had to come back. This time we did it in the backyard. Under the tent. Listen, David had to leave. He says David had to leave, but still got the victory. Come on, real talk. Do you hear me? Oh, he had and he had to go. Pursue. He had to go. Listen. He had to go. Listen. What are you going to do? What are you going to do? Everybody in this room, from the top to the bottom, we are all in different places and phases and positions in our lives. 
every last one of us. Our backgrounds, our cultures, our experiences are different. Every last one of us. Our ideas, our concepts, and our beliefs are different. Every last one of us. Do you hear me? So you have to take where you are. Where you are, what God is positioning and purposing you to do. Every last one of us. What your pursuit is may not be my pursuit in this moment. Because there is... There is places that I have traveled that you have to go down your own roads and your own lanes to. Woo! Listen. You said I was given a house built in 1939. Listen, real talk, Queen. Listen. All right. Listen. So where you need to pursue our deliverance, our deliverance needs are different, but the word of God is the same across the board for every last one of us. Some of the roads that maybe I've already traveled or you have already traveled, but God will get you through them all. In this journey, you have to stay in your own life. In your own life. You got to work out your own salvation. Now, where you are in life. God, do I pursue? Do I pursue? Where are you? What is the things in your life that the enemy is using? against you or has taken you captive and queen I want to talk you said you're getting your house repaired on the, the physical house um, and Jackie I had some things repaired in my home um, there were bats that were coming into my home and I had, I was really getting rid of them my way with a stick and a broom and I had to learn how to, you know, how to take them out, long story short. And I was like, they keep, how they getting in? I couldn't figure out how they were getting in. But until the repairs were made and the holes in the wall got filled up they have no more access Whew. and sometimes in life our our physical houses has holes in them that is allowing things to get in start fixing repairing the heart the renewing of the mind so things can stop getting in. This is real talk. Let me help somebody. And sometimes we don't know how things are getting in and how they got in. Renew the mind. Repair the mind. Real talk. And as God began to renew and repair the mind, you'll be surprised what he will show you what he will have you to pursue. He'll show you when time, come on, real talk, you hear me? He says, doing the work with God as the captain, queen, it is the mission. And simply, it takes work. Do you hear me? It takes some learning experiences. 
it's going to be some hard times. And then God will come and restore. Come on, where's the queen? Queen, don't start knowing where's the leak. Please, let me have a sip this morning. Don't start knowing, queen. I got three minutes. Today, my son going to do his driving test today. Today is the official driving day. So we need to be on time. So I got a few minutes and we got to get up out of here. But real talk. Mm, mm, mm. It takes, it takes work. The obedience, the instructions, when to move, when not to move, when to talk, when not. Man, it's work. You hear me? And then there's things that you have to you have to feel like you are accepting, but that are, that are not acceptable. It's not that you're accepting it. It's just that God is transitioning. He's moving. So God being the captain. Woo! And Queen, yet yeah, where is the leaks? Real talk. And when I when I, I was well, because I got sick and tired of sick and tired. Jesus, that we declare claim victory. Come on, in the driving. Amen, Queen. It's this time. It's the, come on. It's this time. Do you hear me? Because one, two, he had to cancel that test, Cynthia. One, two, two times. It just wasn't time. He was mad like hot grease, son. You could have made. You could fry some fish on his forehead. He was so hot. I was like, son, there's a reason why God is holding you back. Not one time, but two times. There's a reason. There's a reason. Now he's getting ready to go pursue. Please don't stop, none. Won't be none. You hear me? Today is the day. Amen and amen. Thank you for the prayers of touching the Greek queen. Amen and amen. Real talk. But sometimes we'll put the cart before the horse. But don't back down. It's not just because you, you wait for instruction times and season doesn't mean that you you ain't coming up out of that place of captivity or you're not going to recover all that God said concerning you. God is just doing something in the season or in the moments of the time. And it's not that you can't have. Sometimes it's just win. Today is the day. You know what? Let me get my game together. Don't start, no, queen. I might be late. I supposed to make a whole bunch of t-shirts last year. I don't even know what happened. Don't start, none. He said, today is the day. Mm. Today is the day. T Somebody said, today. Don't start nothing, queen. Today is the day. Listen, go back over 1 Samuel 30. And Queen, yes, I, he gave me something else, but I didn't know how, I didn't know was it for, was it for now or for later. But um, it was, it was, it was, it was, it was, it was when the, when, when, when Jezebel, um, Ahab, they were killing the prophets. Um, but we'll wait for that one. I don't know, I think, I think that's for something else. I'll wait. You know what? Is it time, Lord, is it time yet? But go back over. I got to get up out of here, Queens. I do. So let me bring it down a little bit to God be the glory. So I want you to go back over 1 Samuel chapter 30. I pull up from verse 8, but I need you to go go before and after the when, the whys, the who's, and the what's, and what's going on in it. And where, and take that and parallel that thing with your life. Where are you? Where are you? Whatever highlights when you read that, highlights, that is what God wants you. Come on, because where what highlighted to me, something may highlight differently to you. So go Go in and get it for yourself. Make sure you're locking and you are loading and learning and listen to me, studying to show yourself approved. And this is real talk. So when time comes, 
queen, when you get to a higher place, you got enough authority and power to lay your hands on yourself and recover. Do you hear me? And this is real talk, that you will no longer wait, come on, for somebody else to lay hands, that you'll be able to take your own hands and speak over your own life. And this is real talk. Lord, is it time to pursue? Yes or no? And you'll be able to hear God for yourself. Do you hear me? Because it is time to rise up, queens. And this is real talk. Mm. Real talk that you'll be able. So you go back over. Whenever you come here in the morning on Monday, Wednesdays, and Fridays, go back and get it for yourself. Do you hear me? Read it for yourself. See what God wants to draw out and wants you to, 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 to embrace or to want to highlight in your life concerning what it is that you lock and load with. And this is real talk because there is no more. Come on, listen to me because you got the same power. Come on. And you that I have that raised Christ from the dead at the end of the day. And this is real talk that you will be able to look in the mirror and say, girl, you better, you know what? Today is a new day. I'm looking in the mirror. Today is a new day. It's a fresh start. It's a new beginning. And this is the day that God has made. Rejoice and be glad in it. Snatch your mind back from the, I'm telling you, oh, I'm sorry. No. So when he say go and pursue, you ain't got to, you know what? You ain't got to second guess. Woo! Listen. Second guess. This I got the t-shirts. I'm 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 writing down my t-shirt tabs. Don't start nothing, Queen. I know what I what I need to do. Come on, no, come on, no, 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 no. And then when they do come, Cynthia, you get some heavy weight. You know how to handle them. You know how to listen. Cast your cares. You'll learn how to, you know what? Come on, God, lift this. Come on, Lord, in the name of Jesus. No, 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 no. This weight is too heavy for me. Come on, you know how you'll learn how to cast your cares. Mm. Y'all, the, the burdens. Come on, this don't belong to me. This is too this is this too much for me. And matter of fact, it's supernatural. It's too big for me. And do you know how to cast your cares? You learn how to cast your cares and your burdens. Because that's going to have to be your moment, queens. You're going to have to learn, come on, how to square up. Do you? No, don't stop. No. You're going to have to learn how to square up. There's a moment where you're going to learn how to, you, listen, you're going to have to go and pursue. This is real talk, not just laying in the cut, waiting, come on, waiting for somebody else, come on, to do what he has already given you authority and power to do. Come on, God, don't stop. No, it's from the inside out, not from the outside in. And this is real talk. Do you hear me? So as you start walking through your processes or walking through your your experiences and paralleling them with the word of God and using the biblical the biblical principles to apply to those situations and start watching God move and shift. Come on, real talk. Come on. This is, mm, I'm starting now. You'll learn how to square up in the things of God and not be afraid. Square up with your enemy. There's going to be moments where you have to, David had to square up with his enemy, but he knew God had, God has, God has spoken. You hear me and You got the Saint Queens, and if you, and if you don't, if you listen to me from the back, and you don't have the power of the Holy Spirit, it is available, cause you need it. You need the Holy Ghost. You need the power of God. Do you hear me? This fight is too big for us. It's too big. Well, David, David was getting ready to go, and and and, and he look, before before I go get my family back. God, listen, <laughs> shall I pursue? Should I? Should I pursue? Should I pursue my deliverance? Should I pursue? Should I pursue my sound mind? Should I pursue? I don't know where you are. And I remember the day I shall recover all, everything that the locust and the canker worm had stolen. But it was a set time. There was things in the process that I couldn't even say because it would have done more damage than good. Even though it was part of my story. Even though it was part of my experiences. 
because there were more parties involved in the pursuit than just myself. Let me have a seat. So there were some things and things I couldn't mention in the process until an appointed time. So while you're waiting and being still and knowing that God is God, let him work within you. Whatever need to be in or out, renewing of the mind, giving you strategy, waiting so you will recognize opportunity. Make sure you go back and lock and load, Queens. You hear me? What are you going to do? What are you going to do? What are you going to do? I got to get up out of here. Take the meat, leave the bones. Friday, 9.15 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, right here. Join me. We're live. What you see is what you get in this real talk. But you're going to have to get up. You decide. What you going to do? Lord, do I pursue? Tell David, pursue and you shall recover all and you shall not, you shall not fail. Wherever, where are you? And queens, if you have not, get, make sure you go get, look on the page right here on the Facebook page. Um, you listen from the back, come back in. Hit the links that goes to the membership for your health and wellness needs. Because spiritual warfare and taking care of you they go hand in hand. Take care of your vehicles. Take care of your bodies. Because in order for David to pursue they had to spiritually get the, the okay, but they had to physically go get it. So take care of you. So hit the Live Good link, get your membership, and make sure you are getting the things that your body needs in the fight. Real talk. Your, your vitamins, your magnesium, your amino acids, your proteins, your omegas. Come on, queen. These things, real talk, queen, they go hand, hand in hand. Do you hear me? Because when we go into spiritual warfare, sometimes we're not even getting the, 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 the right sleep. Get your magnesium. Magnesium, you, it helps, helps your body rest. When you have a spiritual warfare, sometimes your blood pressure goes up. Listen to me, real talk. Especially when you don't know how. If you don't, especially when you don't know how to fight. Whoa, you excuse me. Mm -mm. Stuff comes against your body. So make sure you're taking care of you. At least doing your part, so you have something to, some stamina. Spiritual recovery, physical recovery, real talk. So get your membership with Live Good so you, do not, you no longer have to pay overpriced for your, um, overpriced for your, um, oh man, you don't start, none goes on the chart. Real talk, queen. But if you're taking your, your, your factor four, which deals with chronic 
You can be proactive. You're doing your super greens, your super reds, dealing with high blood pressure and, you know, your your your, your diabetes. Start dealing with the, your body, your, your collagen levels. I mean, take care of you. This is real talk. I don't know about you. Because if you ever notice in the military, they got them they're working out. And I'm sure they're trying to feed them the right things throughout their, their journey. Taking care of them as they prepare for physical war. We, we, we're in a spiritual fight. Take care of you in the, in, the, in the process. So make sure you go to Live Good. Get your membership uh, for $9.95 a month. So you can get your products at wholesale. It's just that simple. Guys, I got to get up out of here. I already got the text message. My son said he is ready. Let me go. I told him I was going to be ready by 1015. It is now 1013. I think we done did this. Go throw my shoes on and I'm out of here. Guys, I love you. Be blessed. In Jesus' name, I'll see you Friday right here at 915 a.m. I mean, yeah, 915 a.m. Eastern Standard Time live. Know that I love you. You guys be blessed. I got to go day. God bless you. Make sure you hit those links on my page.